Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Star Lords. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. And today's video, we're actually in Superpower Simulator again, or Superpower Training Simulator, sorry. And today we're actually going to be talking about the brand new update for this game, and also a couple of ideas that both me and you guys have had to improve this game overall. Some of these ideas are actually pretty darn decent, but one of them is going to improve this game Amazingly, I mean, I hope to God the developer actually adds this. Shut up, phone! I hope to God the developer actually adds this in because it's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, but before we do get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like. And also, we are now at 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. Do not forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and also add me as a friend on Roblox so that you never miss any of my Robux giveaways. Other than that, guys, let's get into the video. What are you doing? Uh, so, as you can see, I'm actually in the game, and last time I was playing this, a lot of people were suggesting that my power level wasn't that high. So finally, I actually managed to put an hour or two into the game. I think it was only around about 40 minutes, sorry. And uh, I basically trained up my fish strength to 180 million. So I was like, Jesus Christ, because now what's really cool is one, once you hit like 100 million, you start doing the red fireballs, and that's insane. And also, they added something really cool in this Uno update that I want to talk about and actually show you guys in person. But, firstly, the thing we're going to be talking about is one of the biggest problems in this game right now that needs to be fixed, and that is psychic power. Psychic power is very difficult to actually get up, and there is a really bad thing about this, because if you can see in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen right now, somewhere over there, or over there, I don't know which way, I can't remember, uh, but basically, it'll say the main quest, and it'll also say that I need to get 100 million psychic power. 100 million, guys! And already, I've been sat in this game for ages, just sitting about, doing nothing at spawn, like right here, or maybe over here, getting my body toughness up, and still... I haven't got even 50,000 yet. I've only got 30 million. Or, yeah, I haven't got 50 million even, sorry. Yeah, I've only got... 13 million and it's it's very difficult. It's so difficult to get psychic power up It's unbelievable and it's really annoying and to be honest with my psychic power I actually have a 128 times multiplier I cannot understand how hard it is for you guys who don't already have that so I feel really like kind of I, I kind of feel sorry for you guys who can't really get these things, you know, so I really should think, or I think they should really add in a brand new area to the map, somewhere like this, round out here, because for, to be honest, there's, oh god, what am I doing, what am I doing, why, why was like my butt bounced off the floor, dude, so there's nothing really here, to be honest, this is like nothing here, and uh, I really think they should actually change this to a sanctuary, right, and it could be like a Doctor Strange sanctuary, where basically Doctor Strange from the Marvel Cinematic Universe is actually a sorcerer. So he kind of has like, you know, some psychic powers, he has magic powers and all that kind of stuff. It'd be really cool if we actually got this big, huge temple-like kind of a sanctuary, where basically we could all go inside... We could do something inside of it, or we could levitate, you know, we could we could just fly around inside of it or something like that, and it would increase our psychic power by, let's say, for example, 100, or, or no, not 100, like 10 or 5, maybe it like multiplies it by fire or something like that, that would be really, really cool, uh, but unfortunately, there's nothing like that in this game yet, and it's very sad, because people are literally just sitting around now, and it's kind of making the game very boring, like, for example, look at this, dude, my friend Corby right here. I've, I've known this dude for a long time. Corb has already like done the stay alive for 15 hours or whatever, uh, the 8 hours, whatever. He needs to get the next one now. He must be super bored, just pretty much just training his psychic power. And there must be a way where you could train it a little bit faster. Because for example, like if I go over to this wind, uh, sorry, not this wind thing, what is it called? It's called a tornado. Uh, you'll actually see that I get 4,000, uh, 3,200 here, dudes. That's like in insane. Shut up, phone! What are you doing? So it's absolutely insane, the fact that that is actually not a thing in this game yet, and uh, there's no other way to train your psychic power. Other than that, I actually do have a glitch to train your psychic power twice as fast. If you guys want to actually see uh, how to do that, feel free to subscribe, turn on notifications, and also comment down below if you would like to see a guide for that video. Just put, please put the guides up or something, and uh, I'll make it as soon as I can, guys, okay? As long as I know that you guys want it, 
I will uh, actually make the video itself. Um, other than that, they definitely need to do something with this side of the map too. They really need to do something here. Um, maybe even put the sanctuary here. That'd be pretty cool, right? Uh, so yeah, they definitely need to do something with it. But... Other than that, guys, we are going to be actually going over the brand new patch notes for this actual update on Superhero uh, Power Simulator. Uh, so, I've actually got them on the left-hand side here, and this is the update of 1.5. So, update 1.5 which actually brings the soul attack skill. Now, this skill was actually wanted for quite some time. If we just go to the skills section right here, one of the last things you can actually do is do a soul attack, and you press B for that. So, for example, we've got a dude right here. Hey, how you doing? Press B, dead. There you go. That is literally what it does. It sucks the soul out of him. And I'm pretty sure, like, you could do this to everybody. Like, for example, like, let me see. There you go. Got that one. And uh, let's see. This dude, where is he? Uh, got him too. Oh, wait. No, he's too, he's too good. He's actually too strong for me, guys. No. Wait, wait there. Let me see if I can try and kill him. He obviously knows me from YouTube. But yes, I can kill him. My soul attack didn't actually kill him that much. But uh, yeah. Um, we finally got to kill him. It's all good anyway. Don't worry about it. Let's get that other one. I want to be a super villain on the server. That's 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 just uh, we're, there. You go. Okay, right. We're not gonna do that anymore because that is very selfish. So we're not gonna do that. Uh, but shut up, phone. What are you doing? Um, other than that, they actually added in a brand new safe zone to the game, where if you come over to the city port over here, you will actually know that inside of here, where you train your body toughness for a while, um, is actually oh. Oh, there you go. It's a safe zone right here. A safe zone right here. They actually made this little area a safe zone for us. So, uh, yeah, basically, if you want to, you can just sit in here, get your body toughness up all day. And uh, it's just that easy, guys. It is just that easy and pretty much you can stay safe in all of this area so that's pretty cool too um other than that they did add in where you can damage only villains i don't know if you guys know this but it was really hard to become a superhero in this game it was always easier to become a super villain uh, but now if you actually go into the menu settings over here go to settings you will see that there is an only damage villain option in the menu right here and that is so that you never damage any innocent people so that you don't lose your superhero rank so that's actually really cool that they added that i really like that actually so really well done to the development team for that uh, so i really like that and of course you guys will also know that uh, you know they also oh my god someone's trying to kill me someone is killing me jesus um and you'll also know that they did add in the VIP uh, kind of thing where, you know, you now have, uh, I guess, like the VIP rank here. You also have the cape right here and also have VIP your name when you say hi. I think there's a couple of people in here. Let's see. Let me just say hi to them because, like, I, I don't like ignoring people in games. So, like, yeah. I do want to find that guy who killed me, though, and I'm very interested to see whether or not I can kill him. So, where are you, my friend? There he is over here. Hey. Hey, 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 hi, hi, hi. All right, no, cool. Okay, he's, uh, he's, he's not gonna die. Uh, but yeah, so I'm actually very uh, proud of this update. I think it's a really cool one. I do feel like there's a lot of things that they do need to add in. I believe they took away this thing. So, for example, you could put on this and run with 100 tons on, but now you can't actually do that. You can do it with, like, let me see, how much can I run with? Okay, so I can't run with 10 ton, but I can run with 100 and jump with 100. Uh, actually, I can't even jump with 100 anymore, uh, or 10, sorry, or 1. Uh, so that's actually really horrible. You can only jump with 100, and that is insane. That is absolutely insane. That's really bad. Like, that is probably one of the worst things that they've done, because now it's going to be really hard to actually get your jump force up. That's really, really horrible. I, I don't understand why he's done that, but... I don't know, it's his game, whatever, but uh, hopefully in the future there will be an easier way to actually train your jump speed and all that kind of stuff. This dude's gonna die, there you go, uh, and this dude too, there you go. Okay, cool. Hey, yeah, 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 you don't kill me, I kill you, what are you doing? Right, anyway, guys, I just also want to say that it is going to be soon that I'm actually going to be doing a Robux giveaway. Yes, that is right, I am actually going to be giving away uh, some Robux. I got paid, I think it was... 
two days ago? I think it was about two days ago I got paid. So, I'm going to be putting a little bit of that money away for you guys so that I can actually do a huge Robux giveaway. I'll be starting that sometime soon. So, if you do not want to miss on that, then please remember to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications so that you don't miss the video. Like, just basically check on the channel. I upload every single day. And, uh, you know, one of those videos will eventually announce that I'm actually doing a Robux giveaway. So, do not forget to check up on this channel every single day after school. Um, other than that, guys, I just want to say, have a really awesome time on this game. It's like a really good game. I'm glad that a lot of people are enjoying it because genuinely, it was kind of poopy that there was nothing to really play on Roblox, uh, Roblox anymore. Um, and then this game came out of nowhere and all of a sudden, everyone's playing it. It's going crazy. It's popping off. Um, so enjoy the game. Have a really awesome day. Stay awesome. Stay happy. And I guess until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh. See ya. Bye, guys.